pursuit of knowledge, the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of the unknown. The world has natural boundaries that must not be crossed. These values are instilled in us as natural instincts. However, when one is staring down the never-ending abyss, the call of the void echoes in the back of the mind, telling them, jump. However, our own natural instincts take over and we take a step back, never fulfilling that call. But to an individual who has already lost their own humanity, there is nowhere left to go than further down. We are at the bottom of the barrel. What is good everyone? Shoops here. Today we have an idea that came to me in a drunken delirium which sadly is often the state that I've constantly been in for the last few months. That was a joke, I am doing okay guys, I only drink when I'm sad and watching slice of life anime. Oh wait, oh, oh shit. But anyways, moving on to the idea that I had, I was thinking, man, I really don't like clicky switches. They're loud, they're obnoxious, high pitched, and most of all, they get no bitches. Honestly, wait a second, looking at the description of clickies, it just seems like I'm describing myself. Oh shit. Well, that was eye-opening. <laughs> oh fuck. It turns out that the very thing I hated all this time was just a reflection of myself. Huh. Well, that just makes this have some more sense because today we will be trying to make clicky switches good. And working on yourself is always a good thing. Okay, don't get me wrong, all you clicky enjoyers typing furiously in the comments right now, um, actually, clicky switches are the pinnacle of keyboards, screw you, unsubbed, reported. I don't mean it like that, you can enjoy what you want. This is a hobby of preference, and I am just saying that my preference is for the disdain of clickies, which is, um, simply objectively correct. Well, in order to fit the clickies into the category that I can tolerate, I had to figure out a way to minimize the amount of click, or just more specifically, the high-pitched and loud nature of the click. After doing a little deep dive into the dystopian world of clickies, the one that I found to actually enjoy quite a bit was... The Box Navies. These are genuinely pretty lit switches. The click compared to Cherry MX Blues and my Cursed Blue Bombs was much crisper and lower pitched and the typing feel was honestly pretty damn satisfying. However, we still had to smooth out the sound a bit. It's still a little too much for me to handle. So what better way to silence these Kale Box Navies than to, uh, you know, put it in the most muting and deep keyboard that I currently own. Yes, we are going to be taking the edge off of these clickies with some foamatine and uh, putting them into my Mr. Suit. This board right here is equipped with case foam, plate foam, PE foam, and hell, we'll go all the way and drown it out with some tape to muffle the pleading cries of these poor 
box navies. We about to make this clicky build fucking thock. <laughs> oh god. Do you think God... <laughs> oh shit, do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? Oh fuck. Well, here is the board in all of its glory. Looking quite nice, actually. Don't mind the fingerprints. Oh, God. But um, you already know the demons that oh, shit, reside inside this beast. I'm actually terrified, but let's get to the typing test and see if this clicky build actually thocks. Well, it's not exactly thocky, but it does sound pretty decent. It's more of a smooth, creamy click, and it's actually quite tolerable to me personally. I know a lot of clicky purists are probably going to be molding, and still, I understand. But you know, for a pure clicky hater like myself, this ain't half bad. I might use this for a bit whenever I want to annoy my friends on Discord with my noise gate off. Also, the uh, tactility of the box uh, navies are actually quite quite nice. <laughs> 